Hi everyone, welcome to my video. Today I'm gonna to be talking to you about being addicted to drugs. Now they're everywhere. So these are Tic Tacs, not drugs. So what we're here talking about is Biaxin and Budesonide Combo. I've been taking these for over 20 years. Budesonide, I started in 1998. Biaxin, in the mid 90s. I've had Crohn's disease for 40 years and basically been taking drugs for 40 years. Biaxin is for mostly the fistulas. I used to take Flagyl and the Flagyl was giving me all kinds of problems so we had to stop it and I ended up buying Biaxin. On and off at the beginning, I only, need, I only used it when I needed it at the beginning when the fistulas were flaring up. But the last 15 years, I don't think I've ever stopped. I've tried, we'll get into that. Budesonide, I started in 1998. Added it on to with 6MP, which I was on for who knows how long. The Budesonide works amazing. It has very, very little side effects. Well, maybe, we'll see later. So years later, I found out that the Biaxin and the Budesonide uh, conflict with each other. Little bastards. So when you take Budesonide and Biaxin together, the Biaxin causes the Budesonide to be absorbed more into the bloodstream instead of actually being used for what it's supposed to be doing. At first I didn't care because I felt great, but it wasn't a big, it was like on the low part of the interactions. And I felt great, so hey. I added Humera 15 years ago, around, around 15 years ago, and it works amazing for the fistulas too. And I would try to stop taking some of these other drugs because of other problems I'll get to. So the last five to seven years or so, I tried tapering the Budesonide, one every other day, one every third day. And after a while, I would get super itchy eyes. My skin was so dry on my face, like it was like peeling off like a snake. My joints were killing me. I just felt in like a, such a shitty mood. I was just sitting on the couch doing nothing. Didn't want to do anything. So I start taking it again and be back to normal. And I don't think it was a Crohn's feeling shitty. It was just a withdrawal symptoms, like drug withdrawal. So then I tried that a few times and I kept having the same thing over and over again. So I thought, let me try stopping by accident. And the exact same symptoms came. So I'm like, okay, it must be a combination of the two drugs that it's causing all these withdrawal symptoms. My body must be addicted to the combination of the drugs. My doctor said, oh, some people just need a little bit of steroids. I'm like, okay. So I still try taking as least amount possible. I also asked every single pharmacist that I come across and they just keep saying, try tapering it down slower and slower. So another problem I have is sore neck, upper back sore neck, clench my teeth at night and get these big giant headaches that last for a couple days and neck pain started not too long after I started this budesonide. Coincidence? Big coincidence. Big coincidence? Not a big coincidence, a coincidence! And the only thing that works is Advil. Tylenol does not work. And Advil makes you bleed a little bit inside. Before you know it, you're in for an iron infusion, which I've had many. I thought, thought I would take CBD oil for my neck pains because I'd rather take that than a drug, even though it is a drug too, but I thought, let's try that instead. So I went to my family doctor. They referred me to the place where you get the CBD oil from, where there's more doctors. They talk to you. Then they try to find a place where you can buy the stuff and all that jazz. So I got the oils and the first couple months, I felt great. I was going to the gym, working out. I felt amazing. My neck felt amazing. I was sleeping great. It was beautiful. And all of a sudden, my blood pressure went crazy. It was all over the place, but super high up and down like crazy. So I'm like, okay, I feel I felt like crap. So I'm like, okay, I can't take the CBD oil. I looked it up. CBD oil is like uh, one of the grapefruit effects, like the budesonide, if you have grapefruit with it, the same thing happens as the biaxin, which is the same thing as the CBD oil, which causes inter interactions with the budesonide. So that was it. So I thought, let's try this Volteron. Volteron that on my neck felt amazing on my neck the first time. So I used it a few days in a row because I thought I want to work out, I, I miss it. And I can't because of these neck pains and I had the same interactions with budesonide where I felt like shit, wasn't the blood pressure this time, I just felt really weird. So I'm like, okay, I can't take it. As soon as I stop, a couple days later, back to normal. So it wasn't, so it's this combination of shitty drugs that I need to figure out how to stop. So my body is basically addicted to these drugs, I think so. So that's where I am today. I'm trying to stop again the budesonide. I'm trying for an 18, not 18, 
36 hour schedule. So instead of every 24 hours, I'm gonna try every 36 hours. Also, I was doing some more research on these drugs and I found a website, the top most dangerous drugs in the world. Biaxin was like, I think number six on the list. It may not have been in, other, in any specific order, but Biaxin was on the list for saying that you could have heart problems later on in your life just by taking it anytime in your life. It was ahead of like heroin and cocaine. And I've been on it for 22 years. So what is this gonna do to me? I have no idea. So I really like to stop these drugs. Does anybody know how? Has anyone ever taken these type of drugs for 20 years? Like, so what do you think? Am I addicted to drugs? Am I addicted to biaxin and budesonide? What do you think? Tell you one thing else I'm addicted to is making videos. I like making videos and now that's all I like to do. It's on my spare time, I make videos. It's an addiction too, but that's easier to stop. I don't have pains when I don't make a video. I just sit on the couch and watch TV. I'm also addicted to sugar. I love sugar. I would love to stop sugar too, but I'd rather stop the drugs first. See you later. Good TikToks.